what's going on you guys? I'm Robert Arrington. This is my brother Aubrey. We call him Brito Mas Grande. I got a gag grouper, a cabrera, lionfish, and a huge uh, uh, amberjack. We came out this morning looking for gag groupers. We found him and so much more. It's Tasty Tuesday and it's happening right now. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are just before Christmas. <laughs> And we're getting ready to go whack a big old gag grouper. Rito Mascarande's in the yeah. house. Aubrey's here. His wife, Jenny, are you going? I'm going paddle boarding, but you're gonna drop me yeah. off. Yeah, 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 she's not into the ocean. She gets a little seasick. Look at this beautiful thing. This is my niece. This is Ashley. Everyone say hey to Ashley. That's Lauren. Lauren is stronger than 90% of you boys watching right now, and I guarantee you that. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. But this is our family. Me and Aubrey have been diving and fishing and causing just madness since we were little kids. But he's countless years older than me, so he's got a lot more experience than I. Countless? Countless years, countless years. How many of y'all have ever stand up paddle boarded? I tried it, but was unsuccessful. Yeah, hey, I gotta give a shout out to my boys back at LRD. We're doing this today. I have no idea what that meant. <laughs> Pretty gun you got there, boy. About to put it to work. Work. What are we looking for? Groupers. Gag grouper, baby. Gag grouper. Just one. It's one. Well, bag limit's one. It's all we need. About a 18 pounder. I'll be stoked. Okay, so this little spot is. I mean, the groupers are either going to be there or not. Aubrey just swims down, he'll check it out real quick, and he comes back up. As brothers, he and I have been diving and doing stuff like this all our lives. Whenever I was a kid, like a little kid, he would meet me at my bus stop with his bike, and I'd jump on the handlebars, and we'd take off and go fishing together. We didn't even have two poles. We would borrow poles. We'd go one cast, one cast, one cast, one cast, and then we'd you know, count who caught the most fish, which it was normally him. And a red and white Zara Spook was always our favorite lure. I can see his bubbles right here. He's coming up. Let's see what he got. Let's see what he got. Let's see what the man got. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> Bro, this gun is sick! I stoned this joker dead as a nail. Birthday what? fish. <laughs> uh, sorry. Dude, look at this fish. Dude. Yellow Jack. Roll them, the Yellow Jack I got on video. The Amber Jack, I saw him coming. I was like, oh my word. I ripped out the camera. I did everything I thought right, but I may not have got it on video. Whatever, no worries. So the Koa, 
It, it's the best gun I've ever speared by long ways. <laughs> that yellow jack lights out. I mean, this is a solid, I don't know, 40 pound AJ? Yeah. Solid. He swims up and goes 9-9. Nine, nine. Yeah. So, what he's talking about is, I've been looking at new guns and I saw this new Koa. It's a, it's a roller gun. So the it, band... It loads so yeah. easy. The band, this roll, rolls down like that. And it's, I literally grabbed it, boom, pulled down the grain, and I had a little adrenaline going. Yeah, so Pulled down, loaded it one hand. Man, that gun is so nice, and it shoots. Just <laughs> laser. Hey, whatever. That's what we got them. Hey, will this fish fit in the cooler? Go Let's see. go find out. Oh, my God. It don't fit, man. Come on. <laughs> I was excited about this yellow jack because that's a good eating fish right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, my word. Ah, it's cold, y'all. We're right here. Late December. Diving, no wetsuit, no nothing. Just diving. We're just diving. This is like, if I could only dive one dive, this would be a... Cobias and everything? There were cobias swimming around me that were just like barely short. There's a huge spray with cobias on it. Dirty as could be. Here, take this. this. Holy mackerel. 
that fish right there was full blown, incredibly hard to get. But you got him. So I'm down there, mud everywhere. Big giant ray comes in with Kobe's on his back and I'm like trying to pick out a big one and they were all just right there, just barely too short. So I let him go and I look and here comes this fish. I thought he was a gray grouper at first. He comes flying off the edge. Woo woo! And I'm like, no, that's a stinking snapper. So I get the gun up and I mean, I'm trying to film and like you said, I'm like, gosh! But uh, was able to get it done. Nice. So now mud was everywhere just because you were like digging, looking for stuff? I was stuff? looking around, yeah. That's a great fish. So we had like an absolutely magical day. And that right there is a gag grouper, a gray grouper. Here in Florida, you're allowed one per person and they have to be 24 inches. This one is exactly, well, it's just a touch over 24, but it's pretty much exactly 24 inches. And to fillet it, you wanna bring your knife right in here. There you go. You wanna angle your knife down and in. And then take the tip and just run it right down the backbone, right there. And the knife should be nice and sharp and it should take very little pressure. Your knife should just cut just along the back. Cut through those. There should be some pin bones right there. Mm, what a nice fish. And then Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Turn it over, and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Ooh. Come back here. Now, use your thumb, lift it up. Yo, love you, man. Happy birthday. Of course I'm going. You better go, he's your brother. Yeah. So it's Aubrey's birthday and he's got things going on at work which he has to go in and take care of. So everybody wish old Mr. Aubrey Arrington a happy birthday. He's an amazing brother, he's a great dad and he's been married since he was 22. Super fella. Look at that. So there is our grouper carcass. We're gonna save this and make stock. We're gonna make a little fish soup out of that. But our fillets, our fillet, just take your knife and just let it run right along the skin. You should have all your skin and a perfectly trimmed out fillet. You've got bones, these are called pin bones. They run right there. Now you can put them in your stock if you'd like. If not, don't worry about it. What a beautiful fish. Since I was a little kid, I've always enjoyed eating grouper. It's just such a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful fish. Nothing else needed there. And that, ladies and gentlemen, right there are our two beautiful fillets. I'm gonna go home and I think, I have no idea what I'm gonna cook, but when I get home, I'll figure it out. We're heading to Publix, time to shop. Where shopping is a pleasure. Well, guess what? You can't have a catch, clean, and cook if you don't first catch it, then you clean it, and now we're gonna cook it. That is that bag of gray grouper or gag grouper. This is just me and you having fun in the kitchen. Take a little saucepan and we'll get it hot. Then I'm gonna take a stick of sweet cream butter, throw it in there. 
I want it to melt down nice and slow, so I'm just going to put it on medium heat. Now you can follow along with any fish you want. I'm using grouper. Put it right down the center. That's all I need. The rest, I'll cook for Sarah and the girls later. Really quickly, we're going to use some fresh ground pepper and Everglades fish and chicken. Not trying to do too much. Just uh, give it a little bit of seasoning and we're good to go. And as our butter slowly melts down, this is some Italian parsley. I like to just bend it up like that and just... We're gonna add a big fat pinch of Italian parsley right in there. Next, we'll take a couple lemons and slice them down this side. Make sure we don't get any seeds in there. Mm. This is ginger. It's a little dried ginger bowl you can buy at Publix. And that's just shredded dried ginger. A pinch of that. Whew. Oh my gosh, I love the smell of that. That is the love potion, ladies and gentlemen. Now let's get to cracking. That, it's just a cheap old grill pan, but it's probably my favorite pan in the whole kitchen. I love a good grill pan. And we're not using any oil, no butter, no nothing. Just gonna use a little bit of Pam. Is that Pam or Pan? Pan. No, it's Pam. Hi, <laughs> Rim Rim. So the key is to cooking fresh fish. A, once you catch the fish, ice it down properly. Once it's iced down and then you fillet it out, make sure you trim out all the red bloodline. Now, some people may enjoy that, I don't. So I'm only speaking from my point of view. Once you've got your fish proper, properly cleaned and trimmed out, then keep your fillets laying nice and flat so they're not all bent up and just destroyed. Once you start cooking, don't overdo it. Simple seasoning, nice little sauce, don't overcook the fish. If it's fresh, you can eat it raw. So no reason to overcook it. And just like that, woo, oh my goodness. Oh, so incredibly good. Now we'll take a little bit of our sauce. Oh man, there she is y'all. Just reach out there and grab your piece. Such a blessing to be able to enjoy this fresh fish. Oh my goodness, just, I wanna come up here so y'all can see that. Like, just the most succulent, white, fresh, loving goodness ever. Sauce is full on, 100% on point. Mm. Are you kidding me? I would like to say, fish just doesn't get 
much fresher than that or better than that. sit here and watch me eat all of it, which I'm going to eat all of it. I just wanted to tell you, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for all the kind comments. 2017 has been one of the most miraculous years of my life. Uh, we had baby Emma. The channel has just really come into its own. And uh, we've made so many wonderful friends. I, I, kind of at a loss for words right now. I just want to tell each of you thank you for all the wonderful comments and sharing our videos and telling your friends and family about it and, and just being a part of it. It means the world to me. And uh, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I love you. Take care. God bless. And we'll see you soon.